right, so in this video, I'm going to show you two examples of solving systems by graphing. But in this case, in the, in the two cases, we're going to get um, some special answers. All right, now a prerequisite skill that you need to solve a system of equations by graphing is you need to know how to graph a line in slope intercept form. So if you're not familiar with how to graph a line in slope intercept form, please see my video, Graphing a Line in Slope Intercept Form, and I'll link it um, at the end of this video. All right. Um, but if you know how to graph in slope intercept form, let's go ahead and solve this solution um, or this system of equations by graphing. All right. So remember, what, this is a three. All right. Slope intercept form, this is my y intercept, one fourth is my slope. So my y intercept for the first problem here is negative three. One, two, three. I'm going to graph my y intercept at negative three on my y axis. My slope is one fourth. So from that point, I go up one and over four. Or from my y intercept. So up one, over four. Another um, point, up one, over four. To get some points on the other side of my y intercept, since my slope is one fourth, I can use negative one over negative four because that will reduce to positive one over positive four. So that negative tells me to go down one, the negative four tells me to go um, to the left four. One, two, three, four. Down one, back four. All right, so now I have my line. I'm gonna try to draw it as straight as possible on this large grid here. Right. So now let's graph the second equation here. Uh, y equals 1 fourth x plus 5. 5 is my y intercept. So I go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on my y axis. My slope is 1 fourth also. Up 1 over 4. Rise 1, run 4. I want to do the same thing that I did on my bottom graph. Go down one and back four. And graph. Alright. So, now remember, a solution to a system of equations is where the graphs intersect, right? These graphs don't intersect. So this is a special case. So the solution to this system is that there is no solution because they don't cross. But how can we know that without even graphing? What do we notice about the equations here? Well, our y-intercepts are negative three and five, but look at our slopes. We have one fourth for our slope for both. And so, if you have the same slope but different y-intercepts, the lines will never cross because the same slope means that the lines are parallel. And so, if two lines are parallel, they're going to never cross or never touch. And so, it's going to always be no solution. And so, if you notice that about one of your problems, that you have the same slope but different y-intercepts, you can automatically conclude that there is no solution. All right, so now let's try one more problem. All right, so let's try this problem here. Uh, so our first problem, we have y equals negative x plus four. Our y-intercept here is four. So where that graph crosses the y-axis is at four. One, two, three, four. All right, my slope is negative one. So I can write that as negative one over one because I need a rise and a run, all right? So I go down one. And to the right one. Down one to the right one. All right. Keep going. All right. But I could also use the negative with my run because I want some points on the left hand side of my y intercept. So I'm going to go up one and back one. And this will give me points on the same line. All right, so well, I'm going to try to actually freehand it, see if I could, oh, 
not too bad without the ruler. <laughs> All right, and then my next problem, I want to rewrite this in slope intercept. So basically I want to solve for y. So I want to move the x over to the right hand side. And to move it over, I'm gonna do inverse operations. So this is a literal equation. Since this is a um, positive x, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. On this side, it will cancel out. I bring down my y. And I'm going to write the term with my x first because I want my slope first. Because remember the term with the x, um, the coefficient or the number in front of that x is the slope. So I'm writing it as negative x. This is a positive 4. So it would be plus 4. And so I'm going to go ahead and graph this as well. Positive 4. Slope is negative 1 over 1. I'm going to down 1 over 1. What are we noticing here? What are we noticing? I can use the same method because I have the same slope. So what are we noticing here? That I'm getting points on the same line, right? Why am I getting points on the same line? It is because it is the same line. All right, so maybe you noticed before I graphed it. That's great. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, if you have the same exact line, you're going to have infinitely many solutions because the graph is going to continue to cross or intersect at the same point. All right, so the solution to this system of equations is infinitely many solutions, IMS, all right, because it is the exact same graph, all right? So if your graphs are parallel, meaning they have the same slope, but different y-intercepts, it is no solution. But if it's the exact same graph, as we notice here, again, before you even graph it, you can say that, okay, it's going to be infinitely many solutions because it is the same graph. So those are two special cases for when you're solving systems of equations by graphing.